Hi, and welcome to the Proud Forensic Combo Doc tutorial. First step, make sure the laptop is plugged into a power source. The cord plugs into the round port in the upper left hand corner. For this task, you will need the CRU Forensic Combo Dock and its power cord, the Combo Dock's USB cable, as well as some of these connectors, all labeled C Dock, depending on what sort of ports your drive has. First, plug the Combo Dock into a power outlet using its power cord. Then, using the equipment that matches the ports on your drive, connect the hard drive to the combo dock. This may mean you use the IDE and a power adapter, or, as in this example, we can use the C dock SATA, which delivers both power and data to the drive, and plugs into the well labeled ports. On the other side of the combo dock, you will see the USB 3 port, into which you can plug the C dock USB cable, connecting the other end into the laptop. Now your hard drive should be plugged into the combo dock, which is plugged into a power outlet as well as the laptop. After flipping the power switch up to turn it on, both the power out and in lights should be illuminated. Now you can navigate through the prompt on the combo dock by simply pressing enter in order to write block the hard drive. And that's all you have to do on the combo dock. The rest takes place on the computer. So on the laptop, click on the FTK imager icon in the taskbar. Once the program opens, click on file in the upper left hand corner. Then choose Create Disk Image. The pop-up window will ask you to select the source for your disk image. Choose Physical Drive and click Next. Then from the drop-down menu, you need to choose which physical drive to use as the source. Your choices should be Physical Drive 0, which is the internal drive of the laptop, and Physical Drive 1 USB device which is the drive attached to the combo dock. It will also show how large the storage is on the drive, which can help you identify it. Once you've chosen your drive, click Finish. Now we need to add a destination for your disk image. Click Add. Select the image type you would like to create. For this example, we'll be using RAW, and then hit Next. You can add some metadata for the disk image if you like, but it's not required. Click Next. Now we need to choose where we want the image to be saved. Click Browse to choose a location, such as the desktop. Then click OK. Type a file name in the Next field, and in the Image Fragment Size field, change the value to 0 so that the disk image is not fragmented. Then click Finish. Now you're ready to click Start. This may take a while, so it's a good time for a coffee break. When it's done, it'll create a directory for you. Click Close, and Close again. And as you can see on the desktop, you have your disk image and the text and spreadsheet files telling you a little bit about the disk image. Now, to explore this disk image, you'll want to add it back into FTK Imager by clicking on the Add Evidence Item icon in the upper left. Now this time when we select the source, we will choose Image File and click Next. Click Browse to find the disk image file and locate it where you saved it, in this case on the desktop. Click on it and choose Open. Now click Finish. And your disk image has been added to the evidence tree. By clicking on the small plus sign next to its file name, you can see its contents. And you can click through the files to find what you're looking for. 
When you're all done, close FTK Imager. And don't forget to properly eject the hard drive by clicking Show Hidden Icons in the bottom right. You'll click the one showing a small USB plug. And then choose Eject CRU USB 3. And you're all done! Thanks for watching.